One of the world's longest flights, one funny man Dan, and one challenge to stay awake the entire time. That's right, it's the Stay Awake Challenge on I Wish I Was Eight Again. Okay, so I've had a meal, I've watched a movie, I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, I can do this. We're doing great. And then I see this. 11 hours and 53 minutes to go. Oh my. Six and a half hours in, I'm in the toilet because there's a lot of people resting and sleeping. It's amazing. It's only about 8 p.m. where I'm in Sydney time, but people are sleeping. Some lady got on the flight before it took off, fell asleep. She's still sleeping. They watch her sleep. So staying awake is actually a lot harder than you think. Uh, this next section is going to be a little bit harder as more and more people start falling asleep and it's dark and it's cozy and thing. But I found a snack bar. The snack bar is great. Let me show you the snack bar. Here's the snack bar. There's some drinks and oh, not a lot of food left in the snack bar, but. I I'm fully loaded with snacks and I'm ready for my next movie. Come on! As you can see, <coughs> as you can see, we've been traveling a long time. Only three hours and 20 minutes left. Current time in Sydney is almost 1 a.m. Been on the plane uh, for over 12 hours now. So I'm a little bit tired. Been awake a total of 18 hours, which is not bad, normally people would be going to sleep by now. We're generally up awake 16 and sleep for 8. So I'm getting definitely on the part of where my body's trying to sleep. My eyes are getting a little bit red. <laughs> but hey, we're going to keep doing it. Three and a half hours to go for this flight and I've got to get my bags, check them in and do another flight. And I'll be in Houston. This is gonna be awesome. I'm still here, still awake. Let's see what you've missed out on. 12 minutes to go. We've traveled from halfway across the world. 12 minutes to go. Very, very excited. I'm almost about to do it. We've landed. I did it. It's done. I did it. It's nearly a 16 hour flight. Did the whole thing. Stayed away the whole time. This is amazing. I feel great. Who needs sleep, huh? Who needs sleep? <laughs> I'm in the United States of America. How exciting. This is amazing. Woo! Got a whoop from someone in the crowd. Last time I came through Dallas, uh, I got stuck in three hours in customs and I missed my flight. So let's hope that doesn't happen today. And I'm looking forward to this next leg. Challenge two is to obviously to stay awake, wait for this next little wait, and then the next flight until I get to Dallas for about 6 p.m. Okay, so the current count is 21 hours and 24 minutes. Let's see how long I can keep this up. Um, the cavity for that one smoke. Time check, awake for 23 and a half hours. That was a crazy couple of hours from landing to getting off, going through customs, to getting waiting for my bags, to then dropping my bags off again, then going outside and waiting for a bus, and then thinking I've dropped the bags in the wrong spot, and running back, and I dropped the right spot, the wrong way back, 100 degree heat, so I get a bus around the terminal, did I get a ticket? And I said, oh, you don't need a ticket, your bus would be fine. You didn't have to catch a bus, you could have got a train. And finally, through security screening and boarding, and I'm now on my last flight. It is crazy. It's only 40 minutes. I've got to keep awake. I have to keep awake until I get to an actual nice bed and I am then going to sleep for 12 hours. That's the plan. That's the challenge. That's what I'm going to do. I've made it. I'm here. I'm away. That's because we've got a car ride back from the airport, which I think is about 50 minutes. That's going to be hard though.
I made it into Houston. The trip from Dallas was so long. It was 45 minutes and it took forever. It felt longer than the flight from Sydney to Dallas. It was so long and then just taking forever. And then f- and the whole, the airport at Dallas and then I finally get to Houston and it's amazing. Just the best. My friend Anthony came to pick me up right from in where you're picking up your your luggage. My luggage was the second bag to come out. There's free Wi-Fi there so I could um, connect and call some people that I wanted to call. Some very special people. I could FaceTime them. It was just the best. And then we went and we had some Tex-Mex food, which is great. And I had uh, popped into um, a place called Ross. I bought some shorts because I need some shorts because it's hot here and then I've said hi to Anthony's family who I'm staying with and I've just gotten in here and I'm just about to start a bedtime ritual I can't now been awake for you know what I'm gonna have a shower because I feel dirty and gross oh that's so gross and then I'm gonna go to sleep and feel like an angel and then I'll let you know how long I've been awake for done I've had a shower, I'm all clean, I'm now in bed, I've got fresh socks on, feeling great. Now all I've got to do is sleep for 12 hours to make up for the crazy amount of time I've been awake, and then I would officially, officially skip jet lag. This challenge was not just for the challenge for fun, but if I do this right and I sleep well, I will not be jet lagged at all because it's 9 o'clock, 9.20 here in Houston and then I sleep, wake up in the morning and then I should be good to go, which is so exciting. Uh, Official final tally of being awake non-stop um, and flying from Sydney to Houston is 29 hours and 20 minutes. That's a new record for me, and one that I'm happy to stop. Yeah. Good night. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, I just woke up. It's one twenty. I slept for 16 hours. I went to sleep at 9.20. I think I woke up at 2 in the morning. I went, oh, I was pretty wide awake. I'm like, no, I'm going to go back to sleep. And I did. I woke up at 9-ish. I think I checked the time. I'm like, oh, I could kind of get up. And then I didn't. And then it was about 11. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's time to get up. And then I didn't. And then I've just woke up now. Well, that is a pretty successful no sleep then sleep challenge. (laughs) Next week, we're going to vlog all about my travels in America. I've got some really amazing shows coming up uh, this week, which is exciting. And um, we're going to be performing for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of children. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So, thanks for joining me on I Wish I Was That Again. Vlog special. Next week, we'll see what I got up to in America. (laughs) 